came up with some terrific shots in the third and fourth quarter of the game of Ginebra against San Miguel. And those are very important shots that he made, you know. And here is the street on miss after the drive. A little while ago, we flash on your screens our referees in our first game, Messrs. Chisade, Felipe, and Ocampo. Fabiosa. Ice breaker, partner. Yes, coming from Bernard Fabiosa on about a 12, 13 footer jumper. Billy Ray Bates getting a pick from Chito Loisaga, missing a three point shot attempt. Here is Cesar on the run with Atoiko. Atoiko pulls up. Good cover distracted by Joey, kept alive. Looking for the open man, but you saw Banate pitching a tent. Yes, he was called for the three-second violation. He was expecting Bernard to throw it up, partner, and hoping to go for an offensive rebound in case of a miss. However, Bernard decided against taking a shot because he was covered well by his defensive man and decided to throw a bounce pass inside. Aside from the matchup seen on your screen, Tate Cohen and Joey Lusaga, we have a two-two train, Kennedy and Fordinera. Back to Joey. And a pick provided by Dynamite, looking for the open man. Good switch by Cesar, so Joey takes it from the outside. Loose ball, and Bates could not save it. So far, they haven't really gone to Bates except for that three-point shot that he had earlier, a couple of seconds back. And that would have been a good matchup because I think Bates would have an easy time against Banati, especially if he works against Banati on the outside. No? And we certainly hope, Andy and I, that uh, Coach Baby D is recovering uh, well and uh, his acting coach here is Bongo. That's very true, partner. Uh, Baby has seldom missed games, you know, because he's a very dedicated coach and we hope that he's recovering from his uh, bout with the flu. Bongo, well, an able assistant and who knows the place and has been the trainer for the team for this whole year, no? Billy Ray Bates with a drive and draw play, and uh, Cordinera did not pick up the loose ball, and Kennedy says, well, this one is mine. They go to Fabiosa, but not really paying attention to the pass. He was looking at Cesar. He wanted to do a one-hander. So far, no scores for Hinebra San Miguel. They're starting off a little bit slow. Well, you can understand that they went through a very emotional game just about two nights ago, and that certainly takes out a lot of all the players on the squad. Cordinera from the wing. <laughs> Looking for the outlet, did not execute it. Tucci train was covered by Cordinera. Here's out for Co to Kennedy. Kennedy in the mid post. He will turn and go to the line. Foul is going to go against the never something again. Cordinera giving up the foul against Kennedy, who played low post in that uh, sequence. He's now going to go to the 15 foot line for two free throws. You know, Andy, it appears after two minutes and five seconds, the Never San Miguel artillery is really ice cold. They haven't broken the ice. They remain 0-0. Zero, zero. That's very true. They had a couple of good shots at the basket. Not very much movement, though. Kennedy, a 78% free throw shooter, split his charities from the 15-foot line. The foul is going to go against Panate. That will be his first personal foul. Both teams have one team foul. Almost two and a half minutes gone by now, and he never has yet to get on the scoring board. High post play for Billy Ray Bates. Chito Loisaga with a three point shot. Bates trying to go for the offensive rebound, and uh, Cesar, good matchup here against Dynamite. Good steal by Distrito. Stuck his arm out. Three and three, drive and draw, going to be the raid base under the basket. That was a good assist pass by Rudy Distrito. He forced the hand of Kennedy to get up into the air and get out of position. Look at this, Kennedy goes out and Bates gets the uh, loose ball recovery. There's the foul by Kennedy and Bates has the chance to equalize with his 15 foot shot. Well, during that replay, you probably saw the foot, uh, the leg of uh, Distrito fly off and some of the uh, coaches and the traders and the managers are immediately on their feet because they worry about a player that collides on the post. That's very true, partner. You know, you can't... The, the point for teams that are really in contention are the injuries that can happen to key players at this point. That can decide the championship for a team or not. No. Kennedy wanted to get his basket and that'll be his third point. It's a two-point lead being enjoyed by Great Chase. We have a turnover. Fabio Sa on the run. This people waiting for him. He will try to go for a carpet. Sessa puts it up for a follow-up. Philip with the offensive rebound and the follow-up. An interception by Philip on a very weak pass by Joey Loisaga. And there's another miscue on the part of the Milk Masters. Opportunity to score on a break was lost. Well, Sessa was on a stride, hit his knee. Manate against Bates. Here is the speaker going to the open man from the wing. And he gets his two points. 
Odinera Harmon. 7 to 5 is the count, a two point lead for Great Pace. We have 8 minutes and 25 seconds left here in the first quarter. And the so far production of Hinebras and Miguel coming from two Hinebras. Odinera, the basket a little while ago, and base first three points. Atreco drive and draw, and Cesar completes the play. Well, Atre going to his compare with a nice assist drop pass. P Philip picking up his fourth point of the ball game, and that's the lead right now for Great Pace, a four point lead. And production of the Milk Masters coming from Fabioso for two, four points from Cesar and Kennedy, three points. So a little bit more mixture there on the side of the Great Pace Milk Masters. A three point shot by Joey Loisaga, rebound play for Chito. Three point shot again by Distrito, almost at it. Well, those, Ginebra lives by that actually in that game against San Miguel. In the third and fourth quarter, they came up with a lot of three-point shots. Atoy hitting the four guys now for uh, great pace in the scoring parade. You know, Andy, you established uh, a little while ago when we, before we started this game that uh, this is actually the fourth meeting between Hinebra and great pace. And during the past, Hinebra winning two out of the three. That's right, including the one a three-point shot again by Atoy Koy. He's on the mark. He's got five in the ball game right now. Well, including the last one that uh, Hinebra won by a very easy margin of 20 points. So more or less, you can see that the intensity was more on the part of uh, Hinebra. Now, Hinebra here looks listless in the first few minutes. They're not moving as well as they did the other night. No? But they do have a rest day after this ball game. Their next ball game is going to be on Sunday. Here comes Avon Codenera challenging Kennedy. No basket. There was only one red shirt, but Cesar accidentally dribbles it on his foot for a turnover. He was trying to run without receiving the ball. We have the first time out of the ball game, Pingoy. We'll be right back. He resumed play. Cesar trying to defend, pushed off and drew his first personal foul from Rainbow Country. Base also is cold. Well, they have thrown a couple of three-point uh, shots in this uh, first quarter and none of them have hit the target. Great taste playing a more methodical game here in the uh, first quarter. Oh! A pass to Kennedy, which almost became a three-point shot there for Atoy Ko. And Atoy Ko tags Billy Ray Bates, drawing his first personal foul. But uh, he never, at this point, with 6-23 and 23 in the first quarter, in trouble. Trailing by nine points, 14-5, great taste. Of course, the hand of Sonny Jaworski to call an early timeout. He saw that his boys were taking the uh, ball game lightly, like you mentioned at the start of the ball game, Pingoy. Bates trying to get them back on track. He's got five of the seven points of Hinebra right now. And speaking of Billy Ray Bates of Hinebra, he sports Grosby Rubber Shoes, the official basketball shoes of the PBA. There's going to be a foul called against Cordinera. Shot is going to count for Kennedy, and he has a chance for a three-point play. Foul on Cordinera, but uh, Dynamite Loisaga down on the floor. Well, Chito came on to help. And uh, Kennedy just took up the challenge of the two red shirts, went straight to the hoop. 78% free throw shooter. Kennedy has 52 points, 15 rebounds the other time against Ginebra. He misses the charity, and there's going to be a loose ball foul on Joey Loisaga. First personal foul on Joey, and our story now on team fouls. Four being carried by Great Taste of the three of Ginebra San Miguel. They go to Atoy Co. Good cover by Joey, doesn't want to give him room, but Atoy Coyle looking for space. Cospin has the experience in him, you know, because he does know how to fish for the fouls. He just continues to drive to the basket. And as the defensive man does not establish position, eventually he's going to bang against the offensive man dribbling. He turns around a little bit offline, and loose ball picked up quickly. Good push pass by Cesar and a conversion from Bonate. With a one-handed shot, Bonate now makes it complete for the starting five of Great Pace. All of them have scored so far in this ball game. And the lead of Great Pace continues to enlarge itself. They're now on top by 11, 18-7 for Great Pace. No basket from Minerva San Miguel. Good tap by Cesar. And we have a mild collision from the wings. In and out. It's all jump shots for Ginebra. No drive in place except for Billy Ray Bates. A three-point shot by Atoy offline this time. Oh, that could have been a big one. Yes, he already scored one from that area earlier. Billy Bates. Ray Bates, drive and draw. Got deflected by Fabiosa. Kennedy is on the move. Three and one, and up he goes. Kennedy looked like a sewing machine in that last play. Zigzagging around a Harmon Cordinera and one of his teammates. It's a 20-7 to seven count, a 13-point lead for Great Chase. We have four minutes and 50 seconds left. Kennedy now with six points and Jaworski on his feet. 
still no success from you know there's miserable outside shooting displayed by Hinebra here in the first quarter. Traveling violation and after a good call by referee Felipe. Well he was in second gear, all of a sudden he saw this treater who was just waiting for the play to come to him. Couple of substitutions in order for the red shirt. Cordinera being replaced by Tukut and Joey Loisaga being replaced by Leo Isa. You know what is significant at this point of this uh, quarter with the four and thirty four and the first the fans of Hinebra San Miguel can't believe what they are seeing yes. compared to last Sunday. They are a little bit restless right now. There's Billy taking it to the hook. He's going to get continuation. Billy realizes what his teammates do not, that they don't, their outside shooting is not falling. So he's taking it to the hook, trying to get the higher percentage shot. And we have a timeout. Timeout, please. 25, we see the first entry of Isaac and uh, Tokot. Sitting down for Inebra San Miguel, Joey De Saga, and Harmon Cordinera. Yes. So far, there are only two guys who have scored for Hinebra. That's Billy Ray Bates and the other guy sitting on the bench right now, Cordinera, with two points. Pick play there for Fabiosa. Billy Ray Bates forgot to switch. Allows an easy jumper from Bernard. Well, Fabiosa now knocking in four points, and they're in front by 12 points. 22-20 for great taste. Billy Ray Bates being covered by Banate. Double team being clamped on him by Philip Cesar. Sets one man free. Distrito there almost had a good bounce, but he'll take two from the 15 foot line. It's somewhere there, but never inside to get home. That's right. That's been the story for Distrito so far here in the uh, first few minutes of the uh, first quarter. Actually, we're down to 357 right now, partner. And he had 17.6 rebounds, five assists, one steal, and only one error the last time that they played, which was on uh, November 17th. And that was the night when. Uh, Hinebra San Miguel really had eye of the Tiger, defeating Great Taste by 20 points. If you remember, the score stood at 153-133. To shoot train, and Dukut stays on top of him, and for good measure, Dynamite was waiting also for him. Foul on Dukut, however, that's his first personal foul. We have Kennedy visiting the 15-foot line again. He's been there uh, quite a number of times here in the uh, first quarter. Kennedy averages uh, 50, 40 points per ball game and 17 rebounds. Makes his first free throw for his eighth point of the ball game. Compared to Billy Ray Bates, he's been averaging uh, 57 partner and 16 uh, rebounds. So definitely Billy has the advantage. Kennedy has split all of his charities so far. There's going to be a traveling violation on this free throw. Not a very good move. All he had to do was bounce the ball to Chito Loisaga. That would have been a layup. And the basket does not count. The score remains the same, but 23-11 for great taste. 3-45 and 45 in the first period. Good uh, steal from behind there by Dukut. Fabiosa stopping the fast break play. Looking for Billy Ray Bates. Bonat is there. Good pump by Isaac. Putting it up, and Kennedy was a shade late. That's a very good move by Isaac, you know, because he knew that the defensive man was coming to him. No longer could that guy control his momentum. The instincts threw him up into the air, and Isaac had a free shot off the glass. What's intriguing uh, about uh, today's game compared to the last time out when uh, Ginebra won, the first quarter, last November 17, it was uh, great eight of 23, and Ginebra was already in front by 10 points, 33. That's right. In other words, in that game, they took command right from the very start of the ball game. Five seconds left on the shot clock for great eight. Arnie Twadler is coming in for Atoiko. Atoiko, five points, one defensive rebound, but two personal fouls. No basket from Banate. Knocked away by Isaac. That would have been a good follow-up there for Philip. However, it gives great taste the opportunity because now they have a fresh 25-second shot clock to work with. Isaac, got to cover Twadless. And Tukut has been doing a good job against Kennedy, you know, with his long hand. Really pushing the ball out of the way so Kennedy cannot get it at his sweet spot. His anticipation has improved. That's right. And he's getting help defense also from his teammates. Dukut has really been a bane for Kennedy. There's a getaway by Kennedy, and he puts everything to rest with that play. For a moment, I thought that he was going to lose his balance, but he was able to get some strength from that leg and uh, straighten up himself. And now for a three-point play. That's a big lead right now of 12 points. Ginebra limited to only 13 at this point. We still have two minutes and 42 seconds left. Again, Kennedy misses from the 15-foot line. He's missed four free throws already here in the first quarter. Took it on the other hand, playing with two personal fouls. Lost control of it. Quickly now to Fabiosa. 
Here comes the scholar. Pass was a little bit too strong. As a matter of fact, Fabio was not expecting that pass at all. That's the right way for the referees to do it. The minute the red shirts are ready, or even the white shirts are ready to inbound, they throw the ball to the referee. The referee doesn't wait for the other players to come back for defense. Get the ball game going. Cesar and Dynamite. What a tremendous matchup. Isaac looking for room. Has to put it up hard. Philip Cesar has now pulled down 10 rebounds. 7-3 and three in the first quarter. That really should help his statistics. Philip on the three-point territory. Misses the shot, however. Kennedy, back rim shot. Here it comes again. And the five rest just, just had to collapse and get that ball. Finally go to Bates who takes it in. Tries a one-handed loop shot. Misses, but is fouled by Noli Banate. Banate's second personal foul is now relieved by acting coach Bongo. And coming off the bench is Abe King. On the other hand, partner Dante Gonzalgo is about to check in for the first time. He could probably come in for Chito Leisaga, who has not yet scored also here in the first quarter. Yes, Gonzalgo coming into the ball game. We have 17 fouls already charged to great pace and six against Ginebra so far in the first quarter. You know, that's a significant report that you just made because Dynamite is a missing link here. He's got 14 points as an average and he's got zero. That's right. He has not scored here in the uh, first quarter. He has taken a couple of three-point shots. Great taste in front by 10 points. You can see the time in your inset. Minute and a half. And Kennedy has been scoring at will. That was his 12 point. He's pulled down four rebounds, and that's far compared to the 10 of Cesar. King on Billeray Bates, taking that hand low. Nice pump by Bates. Bates has to look at that ring. He says, is there a zipper there? Good catch by Twadless, but Cesar could not control the back pass. That was a good interception there made by Gonzalo Bates taking off the glass. You know, one thing that I've noticed about Billy Partner, when he does miss, it's when he's going from left, you know, right to left. He's going on the left side of the court. I've seen him miss layups coming from that side. But very seldom when he takes the first step to his right. That's when Billy is very strong. Well, Billy Ray Bates is 62% in the two-point range. And in Rainbow Country, 39%. So overall, as a shooter, Billy is such a great player. Good call by the referee, Juno Campo. Last touch was one of the red shirts. Great Bates will keep the ball. They'll have 13 seconds on their shot clock to come up with a good attempt. Arnie takes it from outside. The scholar a little bit too strong, and Abe King gets clobbered. By the way, great taste in penalty situation. And that foul against Dukas for his third. It just plays Hineba San Miguel also in penalty situation. You can see the weakness of the Hineba San Miguel game is their inside game. They've been missing their outside shots here in the first quarter, and their percentage is very poor. Now, uh, as far as their inside game, you're talking about the rebounds. Philip already has 11 rebounds, including that offensive rebound that he had earlier, you know, which he missed. You know? So right there and then, one local has probably out-rebounded the whole squad. And Cesar gets arrested. rest, and we have the first entry of Carpio. Speaking of Dante Gonzalgo, from the corner, it's the Black Superman. It's a two-pointer. Well, Bates has been doing it all for the team here. He's got 15 of the 19 points, I think. Oh, how many points is it? 14. One four. 14 of the 19 points of the team here in the... Uh, first quarter and Billy Ray Bates averaging 16 rebounds per game in the first quarter two rebounds and Kennedy trying to break away from the sandwich it's gonna go against Andy Gonzalgo for his first with five seconds to go before the end of the first Carbonilla coming into the ball game for Dukot who already has uh, three personal fouls Kennedy visiting the line again he's got 12 in the ball game could have been more if he was more accurate from the 15 foot line 13 points now for Daryl Kennedy He's pulled down five rebounds, three and two, averaging 17. So, Great Taste has really clobbered Ginebra here in the first quarter from the rebound department. And the biggest lead here in the first quarter, 13 points. If you recall, the score two then at 27 for Great Taste. Billy's got to throw this up. It's from 35 feet. Good line, and it's a three-point shot. What a 45-foot putt. 